This is asking us what is four fifths as an equivalent fraction? Hold up, there we go. So what is four fifths as an equivalent fraction? So when we talk about this concept of equivalent fractions, what are what are equivalent fractions? So take a moment to think about this question here. Let me rewrite this. What are some equivalent fractions? So when we talk about this concept of equivalent fractions, and what we have here is we have four fifths, right? We have four fifths here, and that's one of our fractions here. What we can do is we can do the opposite of reducing a fraction. When we talk about equivalent fractions, it are fractions that are equivalent to each other in terms of proportion, in terms of the ratio, right? So when we talk about four fifths of something, if I multiplied a number um, in the numerator, if I multiplied a number, say, let's say two, to the numerator and the denominator, so times two and times two here, I would get something like this. I would get a I would get uh, eight here, four times two is eight, five times two here is 10, right? So eight over 10 is also an equivalent fraction, right? Because if I learned, if I know how to reduce this, I can simply just divide this by, divide the numerator and the denominator by two and get back four fifths, right? So if I multiply, I'm doing basically the opposite of reduction. If opposite, of, so if I were to reduce fractions, reduce fractions would equal dividing numerator and denominator by a specific number or by the same number by the same number uh, if i were to find out equivalent fractions so if i were to the opposite of reduction would be equivalent fractions right if i wanted equivalent equivalent fractions Instead of multiply, or instead of divide, I would multiply, right? Multiply and then the exact same thing. Multiply numerator and denominator by the same number, right? So if I have that, then I'm basically just dividing. Um, I'm just basically finding multiples, right? So basically for equivalent fractions, what I'm trying to say is that there are actually an infinite amount of equivalent fractions, right? Um, and what, why, why, and why I can kind of show you this is because I can multiply by two, which we get eight over 10. I can take four fifths. I can multiply. I can multiply it by three. I would get twelve over fifteen. I can multiply. I can multiply it by four. Multiply. Multiply by four. And get, and uh, and get another equivalent fractions. These are all equivalent fractions here, right? These guys here are all equivalent fractions, which means there are actually an infinite amount of equivalent fractions, right? When we talk about any fraction here. We have an infinite amount of equivalent fractions for any fraction. And this it doesn't it's not specifically to four fifths. This is for anything here. So eight over ten, twelve over fifteen, sixteen over twenty. Basically, I'm just changing what I'm doing is I'm changing these values, right? I'm changing what I'm multiplying by. In this case, it's two, it's three, it's four. And then I can go five and so on and so forth, right? I can multiply all these numbers by f numerator and denominator by five to get an inf infinite amount of equivalent fractions. So uh, this here, the solution here is correct. It says basically there are infinite many fractions of any rational number. To find equivalent fractions, simply just multiply the numerator and denominator by the same non-zero whole number and a rational number in rational numbers. So basically uh, this here is correct. The solution is here, four fifths, eight, 10, 12 fifths, um, 16 over 20. All of these are equivalent to four fifths. So this here is a great, solution and analysis. So